In this video, we'll find the number of valence electrons for Ni, that's nickel. So the periodic table is arranged in a way that we can find the valence electrons for main group elements really pretty easily. Everything in group one has one valence electron. The elements in group two, they all have two valence electrons. Nickel is a transition metal, so we skip the transition metals. These are a little more complicated, but then group 13 through 18 have three through eight valence electrons. So it works well for the main group elements, but transition metals, they're a bit more complicated. Since nickel is a transition metal, let's look at its electron configuration. That should help us out here. To find the valence electrons for transition metals, it's helpful if you write this in condensed notation. So we find the noble gas before nickel on the periodic table, that would be argon. So all of this right here, this is the configuration for argon. So we could condense this down just by writing the symbol for argon between the brackets. Let's do that. So this is the condensed notation. And now we can find the valence electrons for nickel because we have our electron configuration, our noble gas core here, and everything here outside the core, that tells us the valence electrons for nickel. So nickel has eight plus two. It has 10 valence electrons. It won't necessarily use all of these electrons though when it forms bonds. Often it'll form Ni2+, so it will actually lose these two valence electrons here in the S. We would put a zero there for this. Or it forms Ni3 plus ions here, where it loses these two, that becomes zero, and then this would become seven. So we found the valence electrons for nickel here. We wrote the electron configuration, then we put it in condensed notation. Everything outside of our noble gas core those would be the valence electrons, but note that all of these won't necessarily be used in bonding. This is Dr. B with the number of valence electrons for nickel, and thanks for watching.